Just trying to find again here the volume we need to give to this patient. The patient has been ordered 250 milligrams of the drug. We have five mil ampules, so it means that each ampule contains five mils with 100 milligrams. So just different wording, but basically there is there are 100 milligrams of the active ingredient already dissolved in those five mil ampules. Again, the concentration is not given to us explicitly, but we are saying there are 100, and 100 milligrams in five mil ampules. If this uh, had been written slightly different, I mean, we would simplify. So five would go into 120 times. Five twenties are 100 and five goes into five once. So sometimes the problem is given to us with the simplified concentration and then they say in five mil ampules. But when we don't have this concentration, we go with the, the full contents of the ampules and the quantity of dry ingredient, the full quantity that is in there as well. So we could use the box method. So what do we have? Well, it's very clear. I, here the two quantities are being connected with that width, which is acting as the bar of the slash. So we could say, and we can write back to front, it's no problem. We could say 100 milligrams in five mils, just because the probably dry ingredient or the active ingredient dissolved in five mils of liquid. And uh, our want being the prescription or the prescribed quantity, 250 milligrams, which needs to match on the top there. But as I said, I could have written it the have as I read the question, five mil ampules. I could write five mil ampules with or contain 100 milligrams. They are still connected, even if the order I wrote them is different. So now the only difference is where are we going to put the 250 milligram? It has to sit on the bottom this time, simply because we are always trying to match the units. Let's do both calcs anyway. If in the top one, let's try to just be gentle with the lines here, five times 100, 250, because the units are matching. This time I'll just uh, not write the units because we don't have a lot of space, divided by 100. So five 250s, well, easy to do five 25s. Four 25s are 100, so five 25s, 125. But then I still have that zero. So 1,250 and then divided by 100. So one of the zeros will cancel. Well, we could even cancel the zeros now if we wanted. So 125 divided by 10. How many 10s go into 125? Well, 12. So the answer will have to be 12.5. But of course, we can push the buttons to get exactly the same answer. I would suggest you always do your mental calc before you push the buttons. So 12.5 watt mils. But if we had used the, the box on the bottom, uh, same thing, the main diagonal is sitting here, this time on the other side, because we are working a slightly different way, just the positions. So we would do five times 250 instead of 250 times five, divided by the 100. So same as before, we could cancel a zero on the top, a zero on the bottom, 525 at 125, divided by 10, 12.5 mils. And of course, we could have used the formula method, 250, we can do that one as well. So we would say, that's what we want, 250 milligrams. What we have, well, here I identified the width as connecting my two quantities. One of them is going to be the have in the formula. It has to be the milligrams. So 100 multiplied by the third quantity, five mils. So it's slightly different writing again, but st still the same answer. Milligrams cancel out. In this calc here, if you wanted, you could first do this calculation. 25 divided by 10. How many 10s in 25? 
2. 2 tens are 20. So 2.5 times 5. 5 twos are 10. And we would get the same 2.5, sorry, 12.5 mils. How much will you give? 12.5 mils.